Hello again and welcome back to Operations Management. We're continuing with capacity analysis. We have our supplementary problem number two. This is part two and we're going to be continuing with our amazing shed company. If you recall from the part one, the amazing shed company produces three different kinds of sheds, basic, superior, and premium. Now what we did in the last session was we determined that with their current resources that they were not able to make their 40 sheds that they had been required. Now, in this particular situation, we're still gonna work with the same basic information, but now we're told that the profits per shed are given as follows. Basic, $190, superior, $220, and premium, $230. Now the company is making 20 basic, 10 superior, and 10 premium sheds to, complete, to be completed in one week. So how much profit is the company actually making in the week? Also, if it costs the company $800 to add one team, should the company add the team? And if yes, where should the team be assigned? So let's take a look. This is the basic information that we came up with in the last session. We found that the bottleneck was with the assembly resource pool. They could only do 33.8 sheds per week and they could not make that 40 sheds in a week. So given that we only have 33.8 sheds, the maximum profit we can make is $7,013.50. This is calculated by taking 50% of that 33.8 as basic sheds that are in $190 a piece. We did 25% at superior sheds at 220 and 25% of premium sheds at 230. We cannot use a total 40 because our maximum number of sheds per week is 33.8. So what happens if we add a team? We know we should be putting it in the assembly area because that is the bottleneck area. Instead of being able to get 40 sheds a week out, we can only do 33.8. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the number of teams in the assembly area by one. So now that we've done that, we can actually get 45.1 sheds out in a week and that's no longer the bottleneck. The bottleneck has moved to inspection. The inspection area can only do 40 sheds in a week. So when we fix a bottleneck in one area, most likely we'll create a bottleneck in a second area. So now our maximum number of sheds per week is 40. And when we calculate the profit using 50% basic sheds, 25% superior sheds and 25% premium sheds, we have a total profit of $8,300. Now our old profit when we could only make the 33.8 sheds was $7,1350. So there is a difference of $1,286.50, which is significantly greater than the $800 spent for the team. So we definitely should increase the teams by one in the assembly area. We will meet our requirements of 40 sheds in a week and we've increased our profits. I hope to see you in part three of the session.